Hi everyone, Pam Kinneberg here with facepaint.com for another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to paint leopard spots. We often call these cheetah spots, but they technically are leopard spots because they have the color on the inside. So I'm going to show you two ways. The first way is where you lay the color down first. I'm using a number four craze brush with craze magenta um, paint. And I am varying the dots from large to small. Um, this way we lay the color down first. You tend to get a brighter color doing it this way um, because the black and the pink don't necessarily mix um, if you make sure they are dry in between applications. And as you see I'm going um, from the top area the um, spots are going to be a little bigger and as they go towards the focal point they um, get a little smaller and you want to just sort of um, lay your brush down lift it up to get areas that are a little larger and areas that are smaller just random um, shapes here because they are not perfect shapes when you um, see a leopard and um, then uh, after doing that you can just add a few other little um, organic dots um, to the um, area that you have your leopard spots in. And they can be just random size and absolutely they don't have to be perfect. Then if you want to glitz it up a little bit you can um, take some matching glitter. This is Magic Magenta by on the clown and I'm just taking a wet brush dipping it in the glitter and then rolling it over the color that just gives it a little sparkle if you wanted to have a different look to it the kids love that and then the second way you can do it is to lay the black down first and typically this is the way I do it simply because I feel I can get my spots in the place I want them better and um, as you see I'm typically putting them on the cheeks and on the forehead and I usually go in a, you know uh, the spots need to be larger towards the outer edge and smaller as they go in towards your focal point and it gives a sort of a directional movement uh, when they're all sort of pointing in that same direction towards the focal point um, and then I add some dots around also. Now importantly, I do this and then I let them dry while I'm doing another portion of the design and then I come back in with my um, magenta and I just kind of press down making fat teardrops sort of, not really teardrops, but um, just kind of fat dots over the black. And if you wait until the black is dry, um, it'll work pretty good this way. Sometimes it'll mix a little bit with the black, but not too much. And just for quick purposes, you can wet your finger a little bit, tap it in the glitter, and just pounce it over your dots. And so this way is the way I tend to do it, but you can do it either way. And you get some really fun dots. 